What's up everybody, it's The Beard coming back to you. It is April 1st, 2019, and today I'm gonna to give you my secret to success for spring seeding your lawn. First, let's take a look at the yard. Okay guys, I got some weeds, but overall, my lawn is looking really, really good. So how do you get great grass in the springtime? Okay guys, so this is a little bit of an April Fools. The best way to get a successful seeding in the springtime is to do it in the fall. I planted this whole yard this fall uh, back in uh, late September and it's coming in great coming in absolutely wonderful uh, my neighbor just a couple houses down did not get nearly as good of a result okay he planted about a month after I did in the fall and it got too cold and he did not get very thick grass coming up okay so <clears throat> I saw him the other day uh, planting some grass seed and trying to water it and stuff and hoping that it's gonna come up the problem with spring uh, with spring seeding is uh, it's gonna take this is tall fescue okay so tall fescue comes up pretty quick it come takes about 10 days uh, 7 to 14 days so I just say 10 um, so it takes about 10 days to come up, and then it's gonna take at least a month before you're cutting it. Uh, then you wanna get a couple cuts in before you have any extreme weather, whether it's cold or hot. The problem with the springtime is, here in southern Missouri, it's gonna get way too hot in the summertime for that young little grass. And uh, tall fescue specifically, that's what's popular around here. Um, it is a cool season grass, so it is the worst in the summertime. So that's the hardest time of the year for it. So you want to plan your lawn around the worst times of the year. So you want to be ready uh, and ready to go when it gets really hot with a cool season turf like tall fescue, okay? So what you want to do is you want to plant your grass seed when your high temperatures are less than 80 degrees, maybe like 75, and then your nighttime cold temperatures are up in the 50s. Uh, that is when grass seed's gonna germinate. Grass seed needs three things to germinate. It needs heat, so I just talked to you about temperature. It needs water, you gotta water it. Water it every single day, multiple times a day if you can. Uh, just a light watering, it doesn't take a whole lot. Just slightly, just keep that seed wet. The third thing is, you gotta have seed to soil contact. You want that seed touching dirt. When that seed germinates and sticks that little root out, it needs to find the dirt right away. That's how it's gonna get water, it's gonna how it's gonna get nutrients, okay? So you want that available. <laughs> so those are the three things that you need for grass seed. Him seeding the other day, it's like 40 degrees out here right now, and that's the daytime highs for the last couple of days. Um, it's too early to seed. He really needs to seed about a month from now. So this is April 1st, so it's gonna be May 1st. So he's really only gonna have a month before we get into June and we really start seeing those hot temperatures up in the 90s. The secret to having a successful seed uh, in the spring for your lawn is to do it in the fall. Don't listen to what the big box stores tell you to do. Uh, I'm going to Lowe's right now actually, working on the Hulk house and everything there. I mean, there's just grass seed stacked up everywhere. Don't do it, okay? That's a marketing thing. They're trying to sell you grass seed. Uh, they're trying to sell you more products. That's it. You do not want to seed in the spring if you're planting a cool season grass like tall fescue, Kentucky bluegrass, uh, any type of rye grass, anything like that. If you're doing a warm season grass like Bermuda, uh, centipede, zoysia, bahia, any of those sorts of things, those you actually probably do want to seed in the later spring because uh, they like the soil temperatures to be up over like 75 degrees um, and the, the heat won't won't bother them and you because they're a warm season grass they do the worst when it gets cold so you don't want to seed 
uh, in the fall with those. So that's it today, guys. Uh, it's a short one, but that is my secret to a successful spring lawn seeding. That's going to do it for me today. Uh, make sure to hit that like button if you like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, let me know down in the comments what are your experiences uh, sowing grass seed. So I got another uh, sneak peek for you guys here. This house right next door to me, you can see that for sale sign. It was a rental house. So you want to subscribe because I'm going to do a video on why you don't want to rent a big expensive house like this to tenants, okay? This is not the right way to do rental houses. So um, subscribe so you can see that video coming up. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, guys. Here's my neighbor that's trying to sow his grass seed in the spring. He's got a lot of weeds because it didn't come up in the fall. He's just not gonna have a very good time. Let me take you up here too. This house is brand new house. It just had all new sod put in and all winter long it looked like crap and it's just now starting to green up. My lawn looks way better. So don't waste your money on sod either. I forgot something that I want to mention in the video. Uh, think about when mother nature plants the grass seeds or any seeds, whether they're from a tree or um, anything like that, right? They always fall off at harvest time. That's when the seed's ripe, that's when it's mature, okay? The plant grows up all spring and summer, okay, and creates a seed to procreate, right? It gets germinated by the bees during the summertime, and it creates a seed to germinate, and then what does it do? It drops it, right? It drops it in the fall, before the winter. It wants that seed in there, so it can start getting started during the winter and then in the spring it's already established so that in those few weeks that it has in the spring before it gets crazy hot it's already grown up right it's it's like a teenager plant almost okay uh so it can kind of survive on its own a lot better than uh you know a very very young plant so don't plant your stuff in the fall, or yeah, plant it in the fall. Don't plant it in the spring, guys. Just don't do it. Trust me, I've done it a hundred times. It sucks. It doesn't work, okay? Even if you had an in-ground irrigation system, an automated irrigation system to keep your grass uh, irrigated in the summertime and stuff, just you make sure it's never going to go dry. Still, that heat stress, it's going to be so hard. Uh, to keep that going and to have a good result from planting in the spring. So, plant in the fall. That's the secret to a successful uh, spring seeding. Do it like six months beforehand. So, get a six month head start. Okay guys, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Look at this. <clears throat> Not only are they seeding the spring, they're using straw. Don't use straw full of weed seeds does nothing for you but give you weeds don't use straw man my mustache has been like doing this weird thing where it like wants to stick out you see that i think it's just because it's light here <laughs> it's light here because i uh i use whitening toothpaste for my teeth <laughs> and i brush with this hand and so I get a lot of that whitening stuff right here. And I think it bleaches, I think it bleaches my hair a little bit. So, it looks really blonde right there. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm going to keep using that toothpaste. So, oh man.